tricky. Uh, back to square one again. Um, getting into decent positions, poor on the ball, poor with the final ball, not creating too much from open play, only maybe towards the end of the game. After starting on the front foot, it just kind of whittled out from then, didn't it? Yeah, it was, uh, it was very poor today. Um, I, I want to start with Pereira. Uh, I said after the, after the Chelsea game, you know, shooting, shooting too often from stupid positions. He had three shots today, Pereira. He had one after seven minutes when he was in inside right position in the mm. box. And we had people in the box and he blazed it about five yards over the bar. Mm. We need more intelligent players than that. Then in the second half, he, had, he, had, he, had, he did have a decent effort. He hit it well, the keeper made a decent save. Mm. For me, it was still too far out to be having a goal. We should be building the play up from mm. there. And then his third shot that he had, he got the ball on the left-hand corner of the box and I could see as soon as he got the ball that no matter what, no matter what happens, he's going to have a shot. He's not mm. playing for the team. We had loads of players up the field. We were building pressure and, and, he, and he had a shot against two defenders that are standing in front of him. Mm. It bounces away and they're away. Mm. You, we've got to have players who are looking to play for the team and not playing for themselves. And what about when he was trying to play forward passes it was not enough on it too much on it getting intercepted yeah, yeah. his all round it's, game today just was he's not nowhere there. near good enough now he brought Jesse Lingard on in his place which I wasn't surprised obviously it wasn't surprising that he took him off mm. just just very quickly back onto his shots by the way he keeps having these shots has he scored a goal this season I mean who does he think he is Bobby Charlton mm. do you know what I mean stop shooting from them distances and them positions mm. you're not scoring a goal ever I mean, it was the one against yeah, Southampton yeah, last year probably yeah, going off that like yeah. last year yeah so he, he needs good. to stop that so he got dragged off he brings Jesse Lingard on now I'm not a, I'm not a Jesse Lingard fan mm. but he, he did a better job of it than mm. a, as soon as he came on he was getting the ball around the edge of the box and looking for little passes mm -hmm. which is what we need now our best player at that without any doubt I don't care people keep coming on telling me uh, one matter one matters like Johan Cruyff compared to them two he's, he's just got a lovely touch and he's, he's got a brain and he's looking for short passes and especially against teams that are camped back when we're one nil down he camped back one matter sat on the bench twiddling his thumbs he's bringing Jesse Lingard on mm. it's an absolute embarrassment sorry no, <laughs> it's an absolute yeah. embarrassment mm. do you think that he would look for a change and, and bring him in or he's too far down the pecking order he's too far down the pecking order and I don't understand it um, I know there's, lo there's loads of people in the comments sort of saying he's going on about Matter and I keep mm. going on about I'll go back to Matic somebody said on, on the comments uh, he didn't mention Matic today yeah. well Matic eats Fred alive Fred's, you know, when it goes well, I, I said to you after the game the other day that when, when you win, you give, I said he played all right, yeah, the other night yeah. and he did play all right, and you do feel better when you've won. Yeah. And then when you've lost, it's you, you know, you're more critical, obviously. Mm. And uh, his passing is just letting him down. You know, I mean, Matic, I don't know if he's injured, mm. he's not played since West Ham. Have a look at the West Ham game. Mm. His passing's fantastic, straight and direct into the Is it because speak. they're safer passes, though, Rick? They're, they are all. sideways, no, they are flex. from five yards. Flex, you need to see it. If Matic's passing, uh, Matic's passing against West Ham mm. was class from his own half, driven into the forwards' mm. feet. Mm. What we need to do, we've got a certain amount of good players. Matic played against West Ham, Matter played against West Ham, but Marshall was out injured at that mm. stage. So you so want Mar that combination. So Marshall's now playing, but he's playing with Fred and mm. Pereira. We need all the good players playing who appreciate looking after the ball mm. and finding a teammate. We, when we've got two or three, two or three players in who wouldn't get I said this about him like, like we said Fred at Watford yeah. wouldn't get in Bournemouth's team so not only would he, he now he would first have been getting Watford now he wouldn't get in, into well, Bournemouth there's no reason for him to be in Watford's team I don't you think he's been growing in confidence Rick, at all Marshall would get in their team wouldn't he I'm pretty sure Matt would get some games and I'm sure Matic would get in it Fred wouldn't so with Fred just to, to draw a line on it before we move on you don't see why we're persisting playing him then you don't see that I don't see why we're persisting in playing but his passing is too poor I'd say his mobility and breaking up yeah, play yeah, he's, he's, he's proper energetic yeah. look you've got to have something yeah. you can't get to this level but is that of not what, what Matic doesn't have that he does that we need though alongside McTominay don't you think that'll be a better parent no I don't no no, no we, we, we're we Manchester United we need to be dominating the ball we need to be passing it better we need to be getting more passes strung together mm. And we need players who do that, who pass it correctly. Mm. Now, 
we, we, we're strong enough still that we do get more of the Whoever plays, we get more of the ball. Yeah. Whether Matic plays or, or Fred, we get more of the ball. Mm. But Matic is a better passer of the ball. I think I don't know if he's injured anywhere or he's just bombed him out. Mm. I don't understand. Because he's never been it's mentioned that he's injured. Way, no, it's yeah. not looking good. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we just need all our better players playing. It's a, sim mm. that's a, sim it's a simple game. What did you make of the front three today? I mean, midfield, OK, we spoke extensively about that. I'm going to talk about the sloppy goal we conceded, so we talked defensively. But the front three, did, did they do enough for you? Or did, was it that they didn't get the service? Because like we said at the beginning of this interview, Pereira got into fantastic positions to feed them. Yeah. Um, and, and in the first half, especially in the first sort of 10, 15 minutes, Martial was dropping off the front, linking the play, doing a couple one-twos with Rashford, yeah. coming on the board and locking it to James. James was in about four times in the first five minutes. Yeah. Martial started great. Uh, James was with James as ever showing his pace on yeah. the wing Marshall found him brilliantly yeah. a couple of times but generally the passing it in to Marshall's feet mm. wasn't good enough mm. I know there'll be lots of people sort of saying oh Marshall didn't do a lot mm. like I've just said earlier I'm fed up of banging on about it it's a team game you mm. can't do it on your own if we had George Best or Johan Cruyff instead of Anthony Marshall today yeah. we still would have got beat 1-0 yeah, because they wouldn't have had you the ball you can't yeah. do it on your own yeah. it's a team game we need better players passing the ball yeah. one matter would have passed the ball better to him mm. than Pereira did mm. And wan is as a player, you, you know, you just commended him last week. And yeah. I, I kind of looked at him for why did he even find himself in that position to have come all the way over from right back? I know. And why are two centre-halves not having to occupy Josh King there? Not only has he held him off, but then he's kicked it and set him up, basically. Yeah. But he's got to do better there, hasn't he? He, ha he has got to do better. Yeah. Uh, again, I want to see it on screen. Yeah. But it looks like he, it looked like he got a boot to the ball, but yeah, a gentle did. boot, and he kicks it behind he himself. Has, has, exactly, I've seen the replay. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, what he's done. Yeah. He kind of got Josh yeah. King back to goal. You're thinking, yeah. right, safe yeah, there. Right. And he's tried to sort of you're, just you're play on, it. You're on your own six-yard line there. Yeah. First of all, if you hook it back to your keeper, if mm. he does that deliberately, mm. the keeper's not allowed to handle it anyway. Yeah. You've really got to just boot it as far as you can away from the goal. or even. I mean, he hooked it back. Maybe he could have hooked it into the crowd exactly do you know what I mean yeah. but what he did was horrendous um, I, I know I said weeks ago I was heavily critical of, uh, of Juan Bissaka and, and that doesn't look good today mm. when, when, whenever do you take a £50 million fullback off mm. if you're going to try and get the game back uh, not to bring on an extra striker or an extra midfield player mm. it was just another fullback yeah and so exactly because he had the yellow card, he probably thought, I don't know, is he, yeah, it's like he didn't maybe trust him. Possibly. So, finish off Rick going forward. I mean, how do you want to see us set up for the next game then? <laughs> well, I don't, well, I don't think Matic is fit. We're, yeah. we're proper struggling, aren't we? Yeah. I can't. Have, have we got, who are, Matter you know, in the 10, for argument's sake, we're I'd, going to I'd, see I'd the front de three. I definitely have Matter at 10, yeah. million percent. And uh, keep your system with so Fred and McTominay because we've got much more. Nine. It, I think it's got to be Fred and McTominay if Matic yeah. isn't fit. I okay. think it's got to be. Um, when, when, when the, I watched the, the replay back from the, uh, when you were talking about Fred before, it crossed my mind, I wanted to say this. I always have it recorded and I always watch it again, sometimes mm. on Sky, sometimes I, I watch the MUTV, yeah. <coughs> MUTV coverage. And uh, Ben Thornley was on, on MUTV, uh, the co uh, co-commentator. Yeah. I don't know what's up with Paddy Curran, by the way, I hope mm. he's all right. Uh, you know, because he's, uh, he's I, don't, I don't think he's been on in the last no, I haven't three seen or four him for a games. bit, yeah. So, so Paddy wasn't on, Ben Thornley was on. So, I was watching the game against Chelsea the other night, and Ben Thornley was heavy criti heavy, heavily critical of, of Fred, saying he's got to get his passing better, mm. it's no good just being energetic. So, Ben Thornley's in my, uh, you know, he's just a commentator, you know, I understand that, but it's somebody else who can see it. His passing has got to be better. You can't play for Manchester United in midfield mm. and pass the ball like he's passing it. Nice one, Rick Franks talking to us, mate. Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.